Victory is my portion. Victory is my portion. Isaiah chapter 43 and verses 1. But now this is what the Lord says. He who that created, he who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep you over. When you walk through the, the fire, you will not be burned. The frames will not set you abreast. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom, Cush and Seba in your state. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange of you, nations in exchange for your life. Amen. Victory is yours. Victory is mine. Victory is ours. As Christians, we need to understand that victory is ours. Amen. And victory is not meant for somebody else. Amen. When you know that victory is mine, Amen. you begin to work for it. Uh -huh. You begin to prepare for Amen. it. You begin to prepare ground for victory. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. You begin to prepare mighty doors that will accommodate victory. Amen. Amen. We are Christians. We are in battle, but we are not fighting from the losing side. Yeah. We are fighting from the winning side. Amen. Number one, number two. We are declared winners before we fought. Mm. When you go in a football match, football, you, you, there are two teams there. As we are in a football pitch, we have our contender. We have our opposer, the devil. Yeah. The word. Yes. But before we begin this match that is going to last for some years, yes. before Jesus comes, we are already declared as winners. Winner. Okay. So we are not looking for winners. Yes. <laughs> At the, between two matches. No. Who is going to be the winner? No, we know the winner. We know the winner. We know victors. Read up your hands and say, I am a victor. I am, I am not a victim. I am not a victim. Praise God. Amen. Already the winners have been declared. There is a ma a a an archangel with a big trumpet, and he has sounded already. Apostle Frank, before you enter this match, you will be the winner after one year, after two years. Amen. Even next year, but one, you will be the winner, even before you enter into that match. That is a victory we have as Christians. Yeah. That we are winners before we even start. So as we now engage in battle, we know that we are going to win. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. You will win. You will win this battle. Amen. You must understand that I shall win. Stronger and mightier than our God. Amen. God is mightier than our God. Amen. Amen. And we shall win. Amen. We shall overcome. Amen. Amen. Our rock is not like Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We shall win. We are winners. We are victors in Christ Jesus. Amen. We are more than conquerors. conquerors. More than conquerors. For our rock is not like they are rock. But now this is what the Lord says. He who that formed Jacob. Praise God. Amen. I want to tell you that this winning has been pictured below. Kuna picha ye mungu wa mepiga hapa kiongea na wana wa Israeli. And he is picturing a picture about it kuna four aspects. Between verses four, verses one, and verses three or four. Verses four, I think I read verses four also. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is a picture that is painted there and you need to understand Praise God. Amen. Picha ini mechowa pale inaonyesha wewe kama mshindi. It is picturing you as a winner, yes. as a victor. Yes. I am your pastor. I want to bring something that you cannot see there. Mm. The first thing that we are seeing there is the covenant of victory. Covenant of victory. Of victory. Praise God. Amen. Number two, we are seeing admonition for our victory. Admonition, admonished, admonition for our victory. We are admonished. Admonition means a firm warning. Praise God. Number three, there is an assurance of our victory that is painted there. <laughs> assurance of our victory, number three. And number four, there is a picture painted about the foundation of our victory. Now, 
Those are the four things. Ambazo zinatengeneza hiyo verses 1 to verses 4. Praise the Lord. Amen. Number one, covenant. Number two, and monition. Number three, assurance. assurance. Number four, foundation. foundation. That is what I want us to check today. I want us to see this picture that God has painted there for the children of Israel. For us now. Sisi diyo tumepikiwa yu picha hapo, tukayona, vile tutakuwa washidi. Praise the name of Jesus. Number one is covenant of victory. Do you know we have a covenant of victory? We have a covenant of victory. Why? Verses 1 in the Bible says, But now that says the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Already that's a covenant. We are seeing a covenant there. And the covenant we are seeing is a covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember your covenant ni moja. Hakuna covenant tatu ya Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Iyo ni moja Abraham. Abrahamic covenant. Now your covenant, we know in that covenant, that God said in that covenant, that you shall be great. I will make your name great. Genesis chapter 12. Look at that Abrahamic covenant. Verses 1. Genesis 12, 1. Now the Lord has said to Abraham, Get thee out of the country and from the kindred and from thy father's house and unto the land that I will show you. This is Abrahamic covenant. Number 1, number 2, verses 2. And I will make thee a great nation. Wow. That is the covenant of Abraham. Abraham is a nation in Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1. That is why God is mentioning Jacob there. And Israel, remember Israel, this Israel is the same Jacob, Israel. Praise the Lord. So that's a covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because the three generations are incorporated in Genesis chapter 12 through Abraham. And remember, Abraham is our father. The Bible says, I will make thee great, a great nation. I will bless thee, number three, two. Number three, I will make thy name great. And number four, and thou shalt be a blessing. That's the covenant of Abraham, the covenant of blessing. Praise God. Look at verse three. I will bless thee, and I bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. That's the Abrahamic covenant, the blessing of Abraham. Now, that is what Mungu anashikanisha in, Gen- in uh, Isaiah 43. Now, anasema you are victors. Victory is your portion. Victory is your portion. Why? Because of the covenant you are covenanted with. We are covenanted with the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, that is one covenant. We have another superior covenant. The covenant of Jesus Christ. The covenant through the shed blood. Even that we remember, remember we are going to Easter. The blood that was shed on Calvary made the most powerful covenant on the earth. Amen. Amen. Remember the Bible says without the shedding of blood, yes. there is no remission. Akuna wadoreo razambi kama damu haijamorika. Yesu wakunye msarabani, akandungo mikuki, akandungo misumari, damu ikatoka, covenant ikakuwa established that you are going to be a victor and not a victim. Amen. Now, this is to understand if you, we have a more sure covenant with God. God has covenanted with us that he shall bless us, and he shall lead us, and he shall anoint us, and he shall make us great, he shall make our name great. That's the covenant we have. Amen. Now, we have a covenant with God that he shall bless us. Amen. I want you to understand that you are there is a covenant of blessing. Amen. God has no covenant to curse you anywhere. There is no covenant of cursing. There is no covenant Because our God is mighty and great. Amen. We have a covenant. We have a covenant to be blessed. And now we have a covenant Jesus. Wakati likuwa nawe kwa iyo kofia ya miiba kwa kichwa. He was carrying and taking away your poverty. None of you should be poor in the house of God. You are right. And I declare poverty is destroyed. Amen. We destroy Amen. poverty. Amen. Hallelujah. Kama alivarisho iyo kofia ya miiba. Wewe unabeba kofia ya miiba ya nini? Now the exchange required at the record, there was a mighty exchange at the cross. At the cross. Yes. At the cross. Yes. At the cross. Why do we have to go on an exchange required at the record? The wicked became righteous. Amen. The cast became less. Amen. The dead became alive. Amen. At the cross of Christ, the 
sinners became holy. Yeah, and the sick became healed. And the sick became healed. Amen. That is the exchange that was happening there. Yes. That is why Jesus died so that you can live. Amen. That Jesus carried away your poverty so that you can became, become rich. That is why he became a curse and you can become the present of the Lord. Amen. Now understand that there is a covenant of blessing. Took on a covenant, their blessings easy. I took a covenant, their Quranima. I know there are generation, generational curses and generational curses of preachers. Mm. But I want to be a generational blessing preacher. Amen. Amen. I know people will tell you, do this so that the curse can be broken. But I want to be a covenant blessing and carry the anointing of generational blessing Amen. over the people. Amen. I want people to be blessed. Amen. Before I tell you you are cursed, I need to tell you you are blessed. Amen. Before I tell you you are cursed, I need to tell you you are blessed. Before I tell you, you not make it. I want to tell you, you shall make it. Amen. And I believe it shall come to pass. Amen. It shall come to pass. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Tell your neighbor, we have a covenant of blessing. 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 I am blessed. 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 Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. If you are looking for a blessed person. If you are looking for a blessed person. Rook no father. Rook no father. Yeah, umefika, umefika, umefika. Rook no father. Yeah. You are speaking to one. Amen. Yeah, you are speaking to a blessed person. Amen. Yeah, usi yeah. usi tafete na. Yeah, to umefika, umepata tasa mtu mbalikiwa ni mimi. Praise God. Amen. So in this kingdom, we don't get what we de- we deserve. Mm-hmm. We get what we demand. Amen. Amen. It is what we demand. So the Bible says from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered the violence. Now why what we in good you wanna take up? Uva mukuna take wa kwangu. Kutekwa ni kuteka nyara. Kuteka nyara. Kuteka nyani kushika ni kwana kutek una pigana na mujina una take wa mutu nyara. Zesa una take nyara in this kingdom you una take our farm who kwangu. And you must fight. You must show that you are you are bored. The righteous are as bold as a lion. Mm-hmm. You will never get anything from the silver platter. Uta pigana, upigana, upigana, and you are admonished to be fearless, courageous, and bold. Why are they not enter in this kingdom? Eh? Eh? Amen. Yeah. I not yet so <laughs> Do you know I want to see the way you are behaving? I want to see your reaction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Your kids are very important. 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 Your how are you carrying the cross? This cross of Christ. Man, I have a baby. 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 I have a I am speaking about the cross you carry, wooden cross, please. Not the metallic. Rugged. Wooden, rugged. The rugged cross, heavy. Yeah. Therefore, you are admonished to be very courageous, bold, and fearless if you want victory to be yours. Victory is your portion. How? By being fearless, by being courageous, be by being strong. 
lazima uwe strong sana lazima uwe muombezi unapiga magoti unaomba wow wale wa kuangalia tunaka kwani tunaomba mazangapi leo wale wa kuangalia saa ti hao nasema you cannot get victory from god if you are fearful ukitishwa kidogo hivi na kupata rent unarudi kwa yule ngao friend wa kitambo haleluya ni ndira kuhoya odegere sasa ubona unatafuta yule kijana wa kitambo kwa sababu msarapa ni zito unataka akusaidie mwambie mwanzo wako usiwe muoga siwe muoga i am telling you to be bold your father is bold mimi na kuanga bold that is why i have preached over 15 years bold i went to india because i am bold i'm courageous i carried that the 4 kilograms on this side and 7 kilograms on this side over 40 kilograms and i was with it for a 50 50 hour train nikiwa nimezibeba na panda goroba na kushuka kupana nilikuwa na mwaga maji kama mtu anaoshwa mpijo vile kumkomoto alinapepa mbali zangu na nimepepa mbaipo kadhaa hapo na masuti zangu and i'm walking in india yeah and nobody stole my pen in india i am as bold as a lion pia mwanza kwa be as bold as a lion be as bold as a lion fear not for i have redeemed you i have called you by your name your name is known in heaven unajulikana kwa jina wewe your jina jina lako linajulikana mbinguni na umeitwa kwa jina hilo wakati mungu alikuja kukuita hapo kuita jina la neiba alikuita any alikuita wewe praise god i have summoned you by name i know you kwa fear not Imagine your name is not known in, in by the government of Kenya but your name is known in heaven. Jina lako liposema andika jina langu kwa kitabu cha uzima ili andiko na inajulikana na picha yako ikachukuliwa passport yako inakuwa kwa mkono wa Mungu anaiona ngai vita that's what the bible says. He has inscribed and it's face face yako. Unajua mtu ni hapa <laughs> mtu ni hapa especially macho <laughs> praise god mtu ni hapa ameweka image yako kwa mkono wako wake anakuonanga usiku na mchana that is what is here tells us yes i have inscribed your image on the palm of my hands kwa hivyo wewe ni mtu unajulikana mbinguni na ndiye anakuambia usiogope because victory is your portion victory is your portion because of the admonition anakuambia don't be afraid if you are afraid you never get anything from the hands of god amen but we shall be as bold as a lion as a lion hata hayo ikiwa haijakula haiwezi kukuonyesha inaopa wow haiwezi kula nyasi na haikurangi nyasi kama ngombe hata ikisikia jana na nani haiwezi kula nyasi haiwezi itatafuta mawindo na ipate haya praise god na inaranga masaa mengi zaidi inaranga how many times how many hours over city for 14 or something anakuwa kamerara masaa machache ndio anaamka na unamjua unamjua simba yeah simba si dhawaliga hapana kwa sababu anaraha hiyo masaha yote na anajua kiamuka dakika mbili amepata mawindo. Amen. Praise God. That is what you umefananishwa na Simba. Be as bold as lion. Tukisema tuna deal na witch kwanza chakuanza kuogopa sasa mimi interview na witch kwanza like you know it. Sasa ona. How can I deal with witch kwanza na wakikasirika wanipige. Sasa hiyo ni hiyo ni maisha ya Mkristo kweli. Abaya anaogopa mchawi anayesalitariate. Anayesalitariate ni roge. Kwa nini unaamini Mungu gani? Praise God. You are admonished to be fearless, courageous, and bold. Admonition number three, it is the assurance of our victory. We have an assurance. Is of it to try dika, an assurance of our victory. Look at verses two. When you pass through the waters, that is an assurance. Biblia say me if Biblia na say my way. Because kuna wakati I say me if you pass ah ah hapo haiko I say me ate unaweza ah ah inasema ile siku utapitia sio kama kuna watu wanapenda bible iandiko vile wanataka if you pass through the waters sio if ni when it's a matter of when kama si saa hii ni kesho kama si kesho ni kesho kutoa kuna when when you will pass through the waters sasa assurance ni kwamba I will be with you that's the assurance na hata kama you go through the rivers they shall not overflow you it is when you go through the waters not if i can tell you that we will go it's very soon we will go through the waters the rivers we will go through the waters we will go through the fire our ministry has gone through waters and fires Imagine. yeah we have been swept by the waters we have been burned 
with the fire, but I'm still here preaching. Amen. Praise God. Because the fire will not burn you and the waters will not overwhelm you. Worry about Muko. I came to encourage you today. Niwaambi hata kama mnapitia mambo mazito na magumu, Mungu ashapea na ashura za hapa. Ya kwamba hata hiyo shida unapitia haita kuova wewe. Labda wewe uipee nafasi ya kuova wewe. Amen. Kama miaka hiyo yote ni Hiyo mbele yote nilipitia kwa mashida na kwa mateso na mpaka saa hii niko hapa. Si unaona hata kama moto itakuja haitakuchoma maji haitakugalikisha praise the name of Jesus neither shall the flames kindle you that is the assurance so we are assured that in this battle we will win victory is my portion why because of the assurance i have ni mungu anasema when i go through the waters they will not overwhelm me are you getting this message yes they will not overwhelm me yani ushandwa hiyo na mungu ameshakuashua Ukipitia tu ile siku tuta utajipata kwa maji usijali tuko I will be with you yeah Shedrack Meshach and Abednego when you shall go in the fire I shall be with you yeah Moses and the children of Israel when you find yourself on the red sea of the waters I shall be with you yeah Jordan itakatika Joshua hata ukifika pale even when you go through the rivers of Jordan I shall be with you na hii maji haitakubaliki that's that's the assurance we have We are assured that the fires cannot burn us. Hallelujah! Wakati Yesu alishinda la kwanza ndio la pili likakuja. Aliposhinda la pili ndio la tatu likaku. Hallelujah. Wewe ndio ya pili na kwanza uliaguka. Kwa hivyo usiache kusema ya poto mimi naona kama hana Mungu kwa sababu anatengwa na namba 3. Wewe na mawa na mawa na mawa umeshinda. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Majaribu yanapimwa. Ni yanapimwa before yakuje. Alipima dubu. Jo akapimiwa ataonekana anaweza. Mungu akasema enda umjaribu basi lakini usiuze moyo. Moyo ingeguzwa ingeshindwa. Mungu alipima akaona guuzwa na mangombe na watu na servants na nini. Hiyo haitatisha Jo. Akaona mahali kuna shinda ni moyo. Akalipia shetani na usiguze moyo. Wewe shetani anatembea sana asiguze moyo. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We have the assurance that we shall win. We shall overcome. We shall be victors in Christ. Ah, yeah, yeah, praise God. Amen. Victory is sure is a sure bet to us. We are not trying to win. We won already before we fought. We are pronounced the victors before the race and the battle began. Before the race and the battle began, we are pronounced victors. Hata kile unapitia saa hii uwezo wako wa kushinda iko ndani yako. Iko ndani yako. Praise God. Amen. Si usemi hiyo majaribu itaishinda mimi. Itaishinda. Nitaishinda hiyo. Itaishinda. Ifa ni vizuri shetani atie hata akileta nitashinda tu. Yeah. Yeah, I will not be tempted to go to politics because I have many people and many money. A lot of money. Ni lazima uambie shetani utashinda. Na kama unaona kama hiyo jaribio ina uzito anza kuipangia saa hii mapema mapema yeah unaanza ku pre, prepare prepare na ku get ready mm. kwa sababu shetani hajaenda mahali kucheza anakuanga ile kitu atashika hivi akupige nayo anataka uwe mahututi apite sisi ndio tunacheza na shetani mm. na shetani hajeki ako very serious is very aggressive and is very strategized ili jaribia lako kutupia ni akukueta chini lazima uwe mjiandaa na ammunition Siraha zako za vita uwe nazo kila wakati. Praise God. Amen. And we shall overcome. Amen. We shall overcome. We, overcome. we shall overcome. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is not looking for cowards to use. Mm. He's looking for lions to use. Men that are as bold as a lion. He's not looking for a coward. Aliambia Gideon, ambia waoga wote wanaoopa, waende nyumbani. Gideon alisema hiyo na Mungu and 23000 left they were fearful a big number of people who are with Gideon wameenda kupigana ukiwaona vile ni warefu ukiwaona vile ndio wanakaa kama wamevaa manguo lakini maana uoga haiko kwa nguo uoga haiko kwa moyo 
Be courageous and be bold, for I will give this. Sasa mungu alindi unaspeti ya fear. Mana hata ukiomba na mnagani ukiomba na fear, you are done. Hakuna kitu unasaitia. Hata sa haitu ukiomba na mnagani, hapa rafu tole toleno kukiri pale iti, uoka yukushike. Hakuna maombi ita kusaidia hapo. That is why we are in this training. Uoka yondore we. To be bold, hallelujah. To be bold. Yani ukishika budu kivi unachapa hapa. Ukishika wadu na majiria neno moja inareta shetani chini. Praise God. So read up your hands and say, I will be fearless. I will be fearless. I will be courageous. I will be courageous. And I will be bold. And I will be bold. So victory will be my portion. So victory will be my portion. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number four, foundation of our victory. The foundation of our victory is written in verses four. Verses four, we see the Bible says, Since thou wast precious in my sight. Thou has been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee and people for thy life, since thou has been precious in my sight. That is the foundation of your victory. You must know your position in God. Amen. The position Mungu amekupea ni mari. Victory yako iko founded on your position. Your victory is founded on the position, which is the position precious. You are precious. The Bible Amen. says you are precious Amen. in my sight. Amen. Now, you must understand that you are precious. Mm -hmm. And if anything precious, God will defend it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ukitoka hapa wende hivi kwa hizi mastriti za Nairobi hapa, kitu hile precious in you ndi utaangalia sana. Yeah. Hawangali yangi kama jacket inaizanguka. Nobody is interested with your jacket. <laughs> Nobody is interested with your pen or your Bible. Kuku kwa street watu watagi Bible, they need maybe your watch. Maybe they need your phone. If you have a jewelry, yeah, those, those are the precious things. Now, God is saying, You are precious in my sight. You are precious in my sight. Now, now that you are precious in my sight, I will guard you and I will give you victory. Number two, you are precious in my sight and you are loved and honorable. Mungu wame anasema wewe uwe ni mwezimi wa wewe. Ume simika kwangu, ume simika. Iyo ndio foundation hile inakupea garantii ya kwamba utapata victory. Kwa sababu ya position yako, how precious you are and the privileges. Privileges ni gani? Kupendwa na kuheshimiwa. Those are privileges. You are loved and you are honored. Na God is saying you, 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 you are honored and you are loved in my sight. That is your position in God. Now, you must know your position in God. Position yako ni gani? Ni precious. Wewe ni kitu cha value. Kitu cha thamana. Na mungu wezi luzu kitu cha thamana kiyondoke tu. Kiyondoke tu kwa mikono yake. Wengine wenu hapa. Even those who are watching this program, even listening to this message. Some of you, if you try to run away from the Lord, He will never allow you to go. Jonah, wezi luzi wa hende mana. Jonah is a precious thing. Ado kitu kwa adikari na hende wapi. Utarudisho tena tu. Because you are precious before God. There are some people who are going to go and go. Do you know me? I am precious. That is why God does not allow me to backslide. Yeah. Who are going to go and backslide? And I got the pig and figure. I'm a pig and picture and I can't even stand. Red lights. Red lights. Red lights. Red lights. Back I am in the middle of your interview. Break up with Taka. After the kill of the Jana, I go and pick here. Red lights. Tunga hapa. Red light. Tunga hapa. Yeni anakupigia red light. Baka unaona. Kile unacho. Kamitiwa nacho. Ni nini. Salimi ya nemi. You are precious in the eyes of God. You are precious in the sight of God. I may not have money, but I am precious. I may not have a big building, but I am precious. Now, siniguze. That is why the Bible says, touch not the anointed. Because they are precious in the eyes of God. Okay, who's an anointed person too? You are touching a precious thing. Man, anointing is precious. Anointing ni kitu cha garama na ni kitu cha thamana sana. Praise God. Amen. How many people now know that they are precious before Amen. God? Yeah, hakuna gethege gethege hapa. Hakuna grass hopa hapa. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I am precious 
in the sight of God. And I am loved. That's it. It's creaky in that I am loved. Eh? Nafiri watu wanachukia watu. But mungu wanasema I love you. Mungu watu wanataka kwa mbosa na I love you. Don't worry, I love you. Si mungu wanakuambia yu kitu kila wakati. Mungu wani kama wanakuambia I love you hapa. But God has feelings. Anasema anakupenda. I love you. Si I hate you. Mungu wakona feelings akukupenda. Wewe, utampenda. You are honored. Honorable. Honorable is not that, that member of parliament. It is you. 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 You are honorable. I receive it. Yeah. They are not known before God. They are not honorable before God. They are honorable before Wachawi na Waganga na watu wa dunia hii. But I am honorable before God. Amen. Na kwa sababu ya kitu kama in such a position, which position? Ia kuwa precious. Na kukua raft. Na kukua honorable. In such a position, no one can lose. Ukiwa, ukiwa kwa position kama hiyo, you can't lose anything. <laughs> kama mungu wana kupenda, you are, kama mungu wana sema, you are honorable before my sight, you are precious before my sight, I love you. How can you lose? How can you lose? Praise God. Amen. You cannot lose from such a position. That is the foundation of our victory. That we are loved. We are honored. We are precious. We have privileges in God. Now, I'm going to idea privileges. Come as a love, who are precious, who are honorable. These are privileges. These are the ones who are the part of victory. Praise the Lord. Now, if you have a position here, everyone says, We are seated with Christ. Yes. We are seated with Christ in the heavenly realms. Kuna mahali tuko juu tumekaa na Yesu hapo. Kwa hiyo mimi ndio kiona nimekaa hapa. Spiritually nimekaa mahali. That is my position. What is your position? You need to know that you are seated with Christ. Lakini wakristo wanakaa kama mbaridi baridi na waoga waoga. Wanaona they cannot be blessed by God. Mungu alinisahau. Mungu sijui alionanga aje. Wataka Mungu akuone aje. Na nakuona kama precious. You need to understand the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus. When we have a covenant of victory, we have an admonition, we have an assurance of our victory, and we have a foundation of our victory.